All right, welcome back. So uh, this little Lennox gas valve is a bit trickier to diagnose here. I'm gonna show you here what I found with it. Essentially, gas valve is shorted internally. And uh, every time we, every time you hit the, every time it goes to turn the gas valve on, it, it essentially just recycles again. So watch this. The reason why it's tricky is because if you go ahead and put your meter here, get it between the two. So we got it calling, we got our meter, hot surface igniter is on. So watch what happens. So you heard the gas valve relay click on. Now it recycles and tries again. Okay. So basically, if you were to jump from this hot 24 to the gas valve, it'll blow the fuse. And I know because I just did it. I'm not going to demonstrate that again. But there's a blown fuse for you. For proof. So what I'm going to do disconnect it completely and now you can hear the relay click on and it's on for good now should be able to check voltage let it do it again so while that's doing that we can check Checking continuity here. Oh wait, let's check voltage here. Let's check our wire. Got that on the ground. You hear it, the relay click, here it comes. Here's our 28 volts. See? Now, check the continuity here. It's got 14 kilo ohms, that's not bad. And nothing's grounded. But the gas valve is certainly broken. So what we're gonna go ahead and do is replace this thing. I don't know if I got enough room for this. I sure as heck don't. I got another one in there. Okay, I'm gonna cut our gas off here. Let's go ahead and get this sucker undone here. Hold on, we need a backer. That's what I love about these, uh, Nipex wrenches. I'm tightening. A little bit too excited there. that manifold off completely. Like 
like such. I don't think I need to get that off of this. So, gas flow is this way. So this is going in. This is coming from the main line. So we're gonna go in there. Get our pipe dope on there. I like to use enough, you know. to go crazy with it but definitely want those threads evenly coated okay that way when you put it in it's a nice unified goes manifold over here I'll pop that off like such all right Ugh. need a little bit more leverage I'm not gonna lie to you. That took me about 10, 10 minutes. Holy moly, when that thing's on there, don't get me wrong. Like a couple guys in the comments already mentioned on my other gas valve video. Heat it up, you know, get your torch out if you want, or if you got a heat gun on your vehicle, go ahead and heat that sucker up, but I didn't have time for that. I probably would've been a lot quicker, but I just, uh, just sometimes you gotta use brute force, that's all. So I did it. It was tough. Don't get me wrong. Okay. There's your gas flow going toward the manifold. Put a little extra on just to, and then you kind of swoop that around. That's the way I like to do it. Make it nice. All right, here she goes. Don't do it that tight again real <clears throat> so it's going in like such so we do one more rotation we good to go OK, 
Okay, make sure it's good. Looks nice to me. Do a little dry fit or whatever you want to call it. smacking relatively simply still going to triple double check make sure they're all in but they are so make sure you got everything out of the way flame sensor I pull that and clean it. Nice. It's going to be your ground. Very important. One and two. Go ahead and get this thing mounted up. A little bit of nylog around that, just to create a nice high quality seal. <clears throat> now I'm gonna get my top test gas leak detector calibrated while putting everything up. Check for leaks. Should be good to go though. Let's go ahead and fire the sucker up actually. Gas valve on. Alright, got the new fuse in. I'm just gonna go ahead and bump it, run it. Power. Leak detector. That thing on high sense. Not experiencing any leaks. Here she goes. She's about to fire up. Ta-da! Okay. No leaks. Perfect. We'll just go ahead and let that run for a few minutes. That'll be it.